Oh, oh. We're filming? Okay, next time give me a heads up. Hey, welcome everybody. You know who it is, Zeus Cruz of Olympia Multimedia. Giving you another segment of Get Things Done. As you can see here, today's segment is going to be dealing with filming, primarily promo videos, videotography, and how to format and structure your video. So, let's get started. As you can see, you don't really need much to kind of structure your video project. If you're involved in different types of scenes, whatever how your project is going to be manifested, whether even if you're doing it outside as well, it's all about simplicity. Simple is more. As you can see here, we have some various backdrops, which is very important if you're trying to convey a certain theme within your video. Obviously, lighting is very important. As you see, we got the light fixtures. You probably won't need as much light fixtures if you're doing your video shoot outside. Unless you're doing it at nighttime, then obviously you want some emphasis on the images or the subjects that you're filming. You're going to want some type of temperament, some type of tinting, tinting lighting on your subjects. But other than that, you can pretty much use the natural sunlight. As you see here with these two particular ones, these are multicolor fixture where it allows you to create a certain type of mood based off the coloring. And it does cover the whole spectrum of colors. But then you want to use probably more standardized lighting to give you a little bit more of that professional touch. As you see here, this is a recommended model that I use. It's called Newer. So please definitely check them out at newer.com. Um, me personally, I'm not affiliated. I am not a spokesperson for the company. It's just food for thought. Uh, they're definitely uh, a company that I stand by with their products. Very high quality. You notice here, you're going to get that professional touch with these light fixtures. It gives you the nice border around it. We'll provide enough shading on there so there won't be too much overexposure of lighting on your subject. They're easy to use. This particular model, you can control it with your phone, but as well as you can do it manually. And as you can see, it has a nice, nice level of brightness. It has a swivel on here. Where you can adjust it the way you see fit. And then you can obviously change the density of it. How bright you want it to go. And how strong the temperature of the lighting you want. So these definitely come in handy. And they're not very expensive at all. You're looking for a set of two, as you can see the other one in the corner. They'll run you about 150 in order to purchase these. And again, if you're looking for that high quality, I would definitely recommend Newer. But again, even with the backdrops, you can usually get some good solid backdrops for anywhere between 15 and $40. Um, if you're looking for something even more bigger in statue, anything above 10 by 12s or 13 by 16s, you're going to be paying a little bit more, but not much. Also too, you can't forget, you need a good steady tripod as well that allows you to put multiple things in a certain frame. Especially if you're involving motion capture within or a lot of motion capture in your video where your subject is moving from point A to B to C. You definitely need a good tripod with the arm bar to allow you to adjust yourself and get everything in its proper frame.
So let's spin over here. As you can see here in front of me, there's all kinds of various equipment here that you can use, all depending on what you're trying to do specifically with your video project. You don't necessarily need all, the, all of these uh, different types of devices and equipment. Again, it's everything is tailored to specifically what you're trying to do or what type of videographer you're trying to be. As you can see here, this is a more traditional camcorder style video device. Uh, it's pretty standard. This model that I use is called Ordro. Uh, I definitely recommend that as well. Um, very simple to use, but the components that come with it are fantastic and you definitely get high quality video content using it. I would suggest getting something as simple as this that you get yourself what you see here that's attached to the top. And this is your audio adapter interface. And what that allow is, is for you to capture sound at more greater distance this distances excuse me and as well get it a better volume to it as well you can adjust everything right here from the back it also has outlets for an aux cord as well as the, the set of headphones as well another attachment that you will want with your audio interface is what you see here and this particular model is provided by Tackstar, which is another model as well that I recommend and this is what you call your boom mic having a boom mic and then attaching it to the audio interface ensures you that your audio quality is going to be top notch so I definitely recommend that once you get a setting like this and again if you're looking at or if you're working on a budget again it doesn't cost that much at all this all particular audio interface by Comica cost you about $80. The boom mic cost you about $60. And then if you decide to go with the model like Ordro, um, they do have three variants, I believe. And I believe all of them can film in 4K as well, along with high definition. You're looking at anywhere between about $260 and $350. The higher end price will include other attachments along with a carrying case for the device. So definitely check it out. Uh, I'll definitely have the links uh, below in the description. Also, too, that might help you out as well is getting what is called a field monitor. And these are so super helpful because it kind of puts your whole frame of your video onto a bigger screen. So you don't be reliant on the device screen, which is usually smaller. So it gives you more field of view. And it allows you to encompass everything that's within your shot. So you have a lot more clarity and understanding of the scene that you're trying to film. And you can see it all in, in its proper balance. Definitely, too, there's different types of field monitors as well. You even have smaller ones as well. That are a little bit more high tech. This particular one is touchscreen. Let me turn it on. Give it a sec for it to turn on. And once you click on it, you can pretty much set up all the different type of parameters on here. If this was hooked up to your device, obviously whatever image is showing up on the screen will show up on here and not the device screen. But again, you can go on here and pretty much control all the parameters and do all your configurations right on here without actually touching your device, which makes it super convenient because you might have to make adjustments while you're filming. Having something like this makes your job a whole lot easier, especially being touchscreen. And also too, it has all the outlets as well. If you wanted to add more components to it, HD, HDMIs, uh, auxes, and so forth. You even have smaller components as well. 
This is a smaller audio interface, but just as impactful and just as powerful. Again, it all depends on your shot. If you're doing a lot of close or maybe long range, you might have to do your due diligence and do research and find the one that adequately fits what you're trying to do in your video. This is also a light fixture as well. you see it's definitely to bright let me turn it to the side but as you can see you can make your adjustments on how bright the light is you can put like a tint to it as you can see you can also change the temperature of the light and so forth however you see fit but whatever lighting that you're trying to get it into, obviously you can make all the adjustments on here. Again, this is super convenient as well. If you're working to a, or filming a shot that deals with a lot of shadows and your light density is very low, this definitely comes in handy. Again, you want enough light to be focused on your subject and enough on your frame so that the viewer gets an understanding of what you're trying to do within that within your video. Usually what you see here, what I just showed you, is usually a nice component for this, which is your typical DSLR cameras. This particular model is the Nikon Coolpix P950. Um, this is definitely my go-to. I love this camera. Uh, it definitely comes with a lot of different features on here. And the overhead, as far as learning it, is pretty simple and standard. Um, it just has a whole bunch of different components and stuff. You can really outline your video on here without having to necessarily do a lot once it goes to the editing table and you put it towards your editing software. You don't have to do a whole lot of configurations with it or alterations to your video. A lot of it can be done right on here. So again, this will be a great component as long as you have the apparatus on top to allow you to assemble your different components to it on there. So I definitely recommend this as well. This might, for certain people, feel a little bit more comfortable to use compared to just using a more standard, traditional cam camcorder style device but maybe you're more handheld or maybe you're more of you're going to utilize your phone a little bit more well they have that as well this particular model is called the dream grip and this is super helpful and it allow you to use your camera on your phone or any kind of mobile device you have your apparatus here in which you will put your device here you make the necessary adjustments so that the lens on your camera fits the lens within here. The beautiful thing about this is you can actually change these lenses. And you can get wide lenses. You can even get uh, special filter lenses that adds a certain tinge of color to it. And apply it on here. And it gives more effectiveness to the lens that's on your phone. Here's a smaller boom mic that you can utilize that plugs in. This particular model by Movo pretty much goes for any type of camera, whether it's Android or iPhone or such. You just plug it up. No special drivers need to be downloaded or anything like that. You just plug the camera in. Oh, excuse me, plug the mic in and everything goes according to plan. The sound quality is very crisp and very clear. And again, Always add yourself another light fixture uh, component. Again, this also does a range of colors as well. It covers the whole spectrum of colors. Just to add that little bit of flair into your video. Um, especially if you're getting more of a still shot or a close shot of your subject. So this is definitely for any kind of mobile videographers. There's definitely components and equipment that you can use for that. If you're more handheld, 
This is a beautiful device to use. Ferutech is the particular model for this one. And this is a beautiful thing because once you put your device on here, which would usually be a DSLR camera, this pretty much does all the work for you. So you literally can roam with your subject, easy control module is already face onto the device, but you can also use the app on your phone, and this does all the work for you. This can actually goes in 360 or 720 degree angles. You can actually set it to make quick shots while you're capturing the motion within your video, which is like pretty fantastic. All you have to do, and it has a stabilizer built in to keep your footage steady. And all you have to do is just stay with your subject. And it's just super convenient. And it's not that heavy. So it's pretty light on your hands. Another thing, too, that you can utilize, too, if you're doing more, um, again, up close or front and center type shots and poses within your video. You can use an adjustable bar, as you see here. You put your device on top. This particular model comes from Zeti. And you can literally... You can literally move up and down and take your shot. It's really great as long as you have an arm bar attachment to your device, but you can actually just move it and go to the pace that you want. They actually have motorized ones as well that controls on its own. Um, you just set the speed into which you want it to go and it automatically goes into the direction that you want it to go. I particularly like these and not the motorized ones because this gives you more control over your shot and how fast you want you want to go. Plus, it gives you time to readjust, especially if you have to zoom in, zoom out. You have more of a luxury without taking away from what you're trying to do. And then last but not least, if you're doing more big shot, filming you're encompassing a larger large scale uh landscape and backdrop behind your subjects you definitely probably want to utilize this which is a special video rigging again this is made by newer and you allow this to be up on your shoulder as you have a shoulder rest on here obviously you will put your device here you use this wheel right here to make the adjustments on how far you want the lens to come in here you have your blinders on here that allows you to control how much light comes into your frame or your lens and then the beautiful thing about it as well you have your film monitor attachment Again, you don't have to rely on the device as you're having it on here. You can just look at the screen and then just follow along with your subject. And it has a great arm or handbar assembly so that you can get proper control of the rigging. And again, this will be more utilized for more large scape if you're enhancing a lot more of a background or backdrop like i said with your subject a lot of motion capture this would allow us to be more effective and get everything you want in the scene and capture later and format it into view so that's it you know this is just a basic uh overview for you guys out there to let you know <clears throat> No matter what type of videographer that you're trying to be, they definitely have different types of equipment that you can use that specialize in what type of video that you're trying to make. And it's very inexpensive. It's not expensive to create a video and 
make it so that you know you bring your dream and your ideas to life. The biggest thing too, don't forget, is when you come to video making, is before you get into videos, have it outlined as far as exactly what you want out of your the scene that you're trying to create. Format it as such by relying on the devices. And don't be so concerned with at the end when you go to editing. You definitely want to get the, the shot right um, as, as you're taking the shot. So that's it. I hope this was informative. And I hope this gave you a, enough insight. And hopefully it gave you enough fortitude <laughs> to go ahead and start your video project. So again, this is Zeus Cruz of Olympian Multimedia, presenting you with another segment of Get Things Done. So I guess there's nothing else to say, but get things done. Check you later.